Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve. Together with Marley, we are on the Jazzy Endless dedicated server. And it is spring and frog rain. I am just kind of, kind of seeing how many frog's legs I can get. If I, the, the thing about frog rain is they keep respawning. As long as the frog rain event is active, they will just continue to spawn and come at me in this tooth trap. And I have just been... I've just been uh, spending some time picking up frog's legs, and uh, we'll probably turn that into eggs and gold at some point. Anyways, today I would like to... I have a project, and it's actually only going to require a pitchfork. It's not an extensive project, but it requires a lot of land. Let's just look on the map real quick. What do we got? I'm guessing the mosaic biome will probably be the best place because... Nobody ever really builds around there. It would be a good choice. It, it, it's I got I got a turf project in mind, and I think the mosaic vine will be the best place just because no one really needs to, no one really goes there or needs to build stuff there. Needs the real estate. It's basically free real estate. So I'm going to get to that momentarily as soon as I pick up all the pieces around here. Oh, stay out of the tooth traps, Mang. I'm tired of picking up frog's legs and resetting them. I've been here for like five minutes just picking up frog's legs and resetting tooth traps. They keep wandering into the field. How many friggin' frog's legs do I have? It's enough. It's enough. No more. No more. All right, fine. We'll take one more. Fine, we'll take one more. All right, let's, uh, let's head on over to our base and get situated a little bit. Now, I know there's, there's a couple moose goose spawners around here, so I'm curious to see if they've destroyed anything while I was gone. It looks good. Looks fine. Oh boy. We need to pick up some grass. We need to we need to take care of a few things and we need to cook up some bacon eggs. Actually, let's see. If I do let's let's start with well thinking about what I want to make. I got plenty of meaty stew in here. Maybe all right, well, we'll start by making some eggs. Again! Another frog rain for real, guys? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Thank God these guys despawn, because this is like... This is a lot of frog rains. A lot of frog rains going on right here. So annoying. It's so annoying! And, and I can't really do anything while they're falling, because... They will fall wherever you are. And you can kill them and they keep falling. See, like I'm unloading some frogs and now they're just they're just following me. They're following me and Hey, will these guys kill Volt goats? Will frogs kill Volt goats? Well, they're fighting something. Who are they fighting? I've been running nonstop. For five minutes. There's nothing I can do. I can't stop because they'll... <sighs> and they keep falling. They keep falling down. There's nothing to be done. <laughs> I can't even get to my... I don't even know that I can get to my chest. Well, I gotta... I'm gonna have to eat soon. I wanna get... I wanna get to... to I wanna get to turning some of this meat into eggs. They won't let me. They won't let me do it. <laughs> What exactly are you guys doing? Oh, you're going for the pig, eh? Oh, I see. Good thing frogs can't break walls. That that's that's very reassuring. Let's see if I can at least lure these guys away from my base a little bit, just a little bit. I'm just trying to get some work done while avoiding these frogs. Not the easiest thing to do when they drop straight out of the sky and attack you instantly. Just trying to slowly feed their remains to this bird and doing the occasional kiting. Still waiting for this frog rain to stop. It's been it's been a hyperactive spring for the frogs. I've been told this is the fourth frog rain so far, and it's only been like it's only been like eight days of spring. Oh come here, come here. I can't do anything! I can't do anything around here. Nothing can be done while these frogs are here. It is so terribly and frightfully annoying. I've just been getting, I've been getting, uh, 
Ah! All right, let's start with what? Oh, I was trying to make cream. I was trying to make creamy potato puree. I, I should have just used. Oh, I should have just used three eggs instead of a vegetable. Crap. Yeah, I got. I got to watch out for for ratatouille because that that does have a high priority. All right, I will start with making some meaty stews. And I think the simplest. Oh wait, I can do like that. Yeah, let's start with that. Yep. Just waiting on that. All right, hound time. And then I think I can. Then I think I'll be able to get to doing what I was, what I meant to be doing with myself today. Back to the tooth traps. Uh, I'm gonna be punished for my cockiness. I know it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But not today. Not today. I should help. I should help Viplem make some more tooth traps because I've been using this. I've been using this field. A lot, a lot, a lot. Crap. And with this, just as I finish using up all of the meat and frog's legs I had in my ice box, I could have used some of that monster meat for, for more efficient meaty stew. But we were able to make 11 meaty stews, which combined with the, what, 20-something meaty stews? We're close. We're close. <laughs> we're close to a full stack of meaty stews. My, my dreams will finally be fulfilled. Uh, let's just keep it in there for now. Yeah, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to have to think about making food ever again. I should take care of this before I get to doing anything else either, because that'll just add to the lag, having more items on the ground. So as long as I'm holding down my action button, as I was to pick up the tooth traps, might as well hold action button down a little bit more and uh, pick up all of this grass on the floor. But hey, it's doing well. It's it's working as intended. I'm I'm I can't say I'm unhappy about that. It just means we got a we got a lot of grass to pick up. I had a change of plan. I think I'm gonna do it in this biome because there seems to be a lot of space, a lot of space around here. It's the rocky biome, and actually, I've never really fully explored this biome, so I'm just mapping out the edges to see what I have to work with. I I need to make a rectangle to start. That's 30 wide, 30 tiles wide and 11 tiles long. And I'm thinking around here should probably be enough space. I just got to count it out. Be vigilant. Let's see. If we start from here, let's let's say we start from let's say we start from this corner like this corner. Let's make this a corner. Shall we? Let's make it a corner. One. And uh, now I count out 30. <laughs> Here's the 30 corner. How far is that? That's freaking far over. Okay. Uh, so now I'll do 11 to the next corner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> and now we count 30 back over. So 1, 2, 3, 4. You get the idea. All right. There's the last corner. So if I did this correctly, it should be 11 to the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yay! I did it correctly. Now I just got to dig out this whole rectangle take this opportunity to pick off a couple of volt goats can always use the horns uh, we should get this in the same spot uh, I hate I really hate fighting these guys because they hit hard and and they got a, a large reach to them their headbutt can really get you see six percent off that football helmet that's a that's a lot of damage and I'll probably hey hey Hey, no, no, no. Nah, vultures, go away. Oh, vultures, you're gonna harass me, ain't ya? Oh, man. Go away, just go away. Go away. Go away. And by go away, I mean die. Alright, we got a couple horns out of that, not bad. More importantly, meat, of which we need absolutely none. <laughs> Now that we have close to close to a full stack of meaty stews in our bundle All right, I dug out the sides made a made a full rectangle of where I'm going to where where my where this uh, This this pixel art is going to go. It's actually not even pixel art uh, But yeah, that's where it's gonna be so for a border. I would like marsh turf I asked I asked for some help and I got a resounding no, which is fine. I didn't need your help anyway. I'm gonna go get around five to six stacks of marsh turf. Let's try the creamy potato puree again. 
So we will not do a... We, yeah, we'll use an egg. We'll use an egg. That should give us creamy potato puree. Ooh, what else can I make while I'm here? Let's do more meaty stew. Sure, let's make more meaty stew! <laughs> no! Maybe it needs... Maybe it needs two potatoes. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I'm probably messing up. Probably needs two potatoes and one egg. Oops. Hope you like ratatouille, Warly. I did it. I finally did it. Uh, absolutely no, no need to do that. Oh well. I have it, so I might as well eat it. Let's see, if I made a rectangle that's 31 by... God, I don't even remember. It was like 31 by 11 or 31 by 10. Let me get... Wait, hang on a sec. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 31 by 11. That means minus the corners I need 30, 60, 80 plus the four corners. So I need 84 marsh turf. A bit more than I... A bit more than I had said initially. Good thing we got bundling wraps. Let's get 84 marsh turf. I'm grabbing a little bit of extra marsh turf because I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the inner part of this build. So I'm bringing back 90 pieces of turf. Let's see, where are we going? We're going over here. Yeah, okay. Just to see how it looks on the map because that's going to be the main that's going to be the main consideration is how good it looks when you're looking at the map. All right, let's start with the edges and just Take a peek real quick. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't make it a whole lot darker, but dark enough, I suppose. Dark enough to see that it is the that it is the border. Yeah, I guess it looks fine. All right. The the space has been the border has been made. Going all the way around now, I can start to work on the characters inside. Uh, let's start up here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do most of this off camera, and then I will I will I'll double back because I gotta find I gotta think of some some good turf for this. I'm thinking forest turf might work well because it's dark against the uh, against the backdrop of this of this uh, turf. So I'm gonna start to, yeah I'm gonna start to dig out the uh, the insides of this. Okay, everything has been dug out. I just need to place the turf on the inside. And I counted it out. I believe I only need 62 pieces of turf. So I am going to go grab that. And yeah, I'll probably make it forest turf for now. Just to simplify things. And to call this done. Because honestly, I should not be spending too much time on this. I want to experiment for a second. Because there are there are lots of turfs that I have not I have not really messed around with placing yet. And one of those is... Oh wait, this is, oh, this is grass turf. I need forest turf. Forest turf, Jazzy. What is this? That's mossy turf. I need to get some forest turf. Let's see. I think there's some of this, uh... I think there's some forest turf in the forest over here. Oh, wait. Jungle turf? Jungle turf. Hmm. Hmm. Can't really see what it looks like. What does it look like? Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's very dark on the map. Hmm. Now, how easy would it be to acquire, like, six stacks of jungle turf? Let's see what the crafting recipe is for it. Forest turf. It's one for one. I can do that. Let's go to the forest and grab grab a bunch of forest turf. All right, which looks darker, jungle turf or forest turf? Let's see. Let's move away. Hard to see with the friggin' trees in the way. Okay, forest turf, jungle turf. Looks about the same. No, jungle turf does look a little bit darker. Okay, we're gonna go with jungle turf. I've got a ton of rocky turf bundled up in these wraps, so I'm gonna open them, take my wax paper back. Oh wait, I should open them over here. Cool. If anyone wants to use that for, for cobblestones, be my guest. Wait a minute, where's my... Oh, where's the wax paper? Where's the wax paper? There it is. And now I craft 
jungle turf to... Uh, I craft jungle turf from forest turf. And I just do this forever. Forever. For the rest of my days. I've got all of this to craft, and then I gotta unbundle... Unbundle this, uh, this full bundle of forest turf and do the same thing. And then bring it all over to the rocky biome. Alright, I gotta get a move on because it is day 1591. There's going to be... There's gonna be a werepig slaughter tonight over the oasis biome. So I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Craft. Damn you, craft. Craft. Alright, let's go. Hey. Not very nice. Not very nice. And done. We did it. How's it look? It looks great. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fivos. Uh, so the story behind this is... <laughs> the story behind this is Mr. Fivos made a little name for himself out of, out of trees. And I can't say how many times I, walk pat, I walked past those trees and never noticed that, that was his name spelled out. And uh, yeah, just did not give him the recognition that the that the, the, the piece deserved. And then off camera, I lead Berger through the trees, not knowing that that was actually something that he built. So I wanted to make it up to him in in some way and hoping this does this does justice to the namesake. There you go, Finals. Happy birthday, dude. All right, we're now we're racing against the clock to get to the oasis and uh, so we can slaughter some were pigs because tonight is the full moon, baby. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, I can make a log suit while I'm back here. I think there's enough time. Just need one of these and some rope. Make it and go. Let's go. All right, just please no pigs while we're uh, no pigs. No, we want lots of pigs. Please no hounds while we're doing this. Last time I tried taking out the the were pigs. We got a hound attack as soon as, as soon as they hit. Okay. All right. Cool. Between you and me. Hi. Uh, you got spicy taffy. All right. I'm gonna eat a volt goat chauffeur because, you know, why not? Let's bundle up the rest. Okay, I think we're just about good to go. I'll leave the food in there. I'll leave my key in there and that in there. I should make one more. Wait, where's my... I don't have a weapon. I should probably make a weapon. Okay, uh, is that it? Shh, be quiet. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just hold on to this for now. Let's eat Shofa. Uh, all right, come on, boys, let's do it. Ah, oh. I guess I should pick it up as I go because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if they're if they're gonna eat it or not. So let's just do this. It's too bad they're not wet. That would have been helpful. I'm just gonna... I should probably eat a jelly bean. Let's see. If I just go for it, if I just knock them down... Oh, they get stunned. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Why am I bothering to pick anything up? I could just stun them. Well. That is that. GG. And I have almost two stacks of meat again. Sheesh. What am I gonna do with all this? What am I gonna do with all this meat? I already have a full stack of meaty stew. What else am I gonna do with it? Anyways, that is it for today's episode. <laughs> the, uh, the the jig is up. I expected it to take a little bit longer for people to discover that because like I made it out of the middle of friggin' nowhere. But anyways, hope you enjoy it. There will be no, Bearger will not come stomping through this time. And uh, yeah, look forward to getting back to <laughs> doing some actual like. Uh, uh, you know, useful building projects in the next episode. Anyways, hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.